Hi guys, welcome to another video on For Your Heart and Home. If you are new here, thank you for being with us. Returners, thank you so much for supporting our channel. Like, share, and subscribe to help us grow on this platform. Today, I really just wanted to talk to you about some truths that go along with the educational choice to homeschool. If you've been following us for a little while, you know that I'm a wife and mom to three blessings. I am also a former educator, and so I come to this conversation with that educational background. Even with that background though, I did receive some kind of pushback from our family when we shared that we would be homeschooling our children. It's out of the norm and it's not uncommon for families to be taken aback by you making this choice for your children. I am here to provide this space for you. If you would like to learn more about the homeschooling process, if you're thinking about homeschooling, if you've already started the journey and need some inspiration, need some ideas. If you just want the down and dirty truth about what it's like to homeschool, I hope that this platform can provide that for you. So here are some things to keep in mind if in fact you do want to make this educational choice. The first thing to keep in mind is that you're not really the educator. You're going to be learning right along with your children. You might start off feeling like you know all of the things you need to know in the preschool years, in the primary grades. As your child gets older, you're going to come across moments when you really don't know what it is that needs to be taught. And so you're going to be learning right along with your learners. And that's the beauty of homeschooling. If your child is really into frogs, you might go down this rabbit hole of learning all about frogs for a week or two. And you will come across things that you didn't even know existed. So one of the things to keep in mind is that when you are homeschooling, you are learning right along with your children. Do not be afraid, do not be intimidated, and don't think you have to know all the answers right away. The next thing to keep in mind is that learning is always happening. Your child has been learning since they were born. You are their first teachers. So whether or not you have a teaching background, whether or not you have a fancy degree, you can teach your children. So again, learning is always happening. You don't have to have a book in front of them. You don't have to be sitting at the table. You don't have to have a fancy learning area or space. Learning is always happening. Now, I am not telling you or suggesting that you turn every opportunity into a teachable moment. No, that is not what I'm saying. Learning should be fluid, learning should come natural, and learning should be engaging and fun. Homeschooling requires for you to be focused. And what do I mean by that? There's so much information being thrown at you constantly. If you go on any of the social media platforms and you type in homeschooling, it's inundated with so much information from so many different people with learning styles and curriculum and activities you can be doing, and it can be overwhelming. Again, especially for somebody who does not come from an educational background, it can be overwhelming. Who do you go with? Well, I like this person and they're picking this curriculum, so I should pick it too. There's so much to weed through. I suggest you take a step back. Take a step back and figure out why am I homeschooling? If you have a clear reason why you're homeschooling, think about your family, think about your space, think about your needs and go from there. You need to make a choice and stick with it. You have to learn to block out the naysayers who are not supporting you. You need to block out the influencers who are telling you to buy this, buy this, go there, do that. You have to really sit down and set goals and try your best to stick to them so that you can stay in the zone, stay in your lane, and just keep your eye on the prize. In my opinion, and this is my humble opinion, homeschooling requires discipline. There are many homeschooling choices. There are many ways to homeschool 
and every family is different and every family has different needs and i completely support the choices that you're making for your family in making this educational choice there requires a little bit of discipline though for it to be successful and i say that because if you're going to go out and buy a box curriculum for example it's going to take discipline to get through that curriculum if you're going to sign up for a co-op it's going to take discipline to get to the co-op classes every week or because you spent the money to take the class so anything that any choice that you're making to shape your homeschool is going to require some kind of discipline to see that choice through fruition the overall picture for it to be successful you're going to need to practice some kind of discipline for some that means some kind of schedule some kind of regimen some plan that you're following even if you're unschooling some plan that helps you to reach whatever goals you've set for yourself and your learners Another point to keep in mind when homeschooling is flexibility. So now I know I just mentioned that you have to be disciplined, but you also have to be flexible. There will be weeks when you have doctor's appointments, when somebody is sick, when you're just too exhausted or overwhelmed with life and you have to take a step back. And that's where the flexibility comes in. You also may make curriculum choices that are not working for your learners and halfway through the year, you have to pivot and do something else. That's the beauty of homeschooling, being able to be flexible with the choices that you're making while being disciplined in that flexibility. I know it might sound counterintuitive, but think about it. You'll understand what I'm saying. So another truth about homeschooling is that if you're not careful, it can become very costly. It doesn't have to be that way. There are a lot of free and low cost curriculum that you can use that are just as good. And you can supplement those curriculum with quality books to extend the learning, to enhance the learning. And you can use online videos to once again, enhance and extend the learning. It is not necessary to get all of these expensive curriculum all day long, especially when you're homeschooling multiple children. My final truth about homeschooling is that it can be overwhelming. As a stay-at-home mom and wife, oftentimes the lines will get very blurred and it becomes difficult to figure out where school time stops, when mommy time starts, when it's my time. And so something that you will probably struggle with especially in the first few years is finding that balance when do i turn on quote unquote teacher mode when do i turn on mommy mode when do i turn on wife mode it's because you're playing you're wearing all of these hats and it's to be honest it's going to be a juggling act it has been a juggling act and it continues to be a juggling act but for us, this educational choice is what works for us. And we've been enjoying the ride. It's been a roller coaster, but we've been enjoying the ride and continue to make that choice every time. I would like to encourage you if this is something that you're thinking about, if you're still on the fence, I just want to encourage you that this is something that you can do. You are your child's first teacher. You've been teaching them since they were born and you have the capability to continue that process. If you would like some support, if you would like some inspiration, if you would like some more information, feel free to drop a comment in the comment section below. You can also ask questions, whether they're specific questions or general questions about homeschooling, about balancing homeschooling and homemaking. If you would like to get a closer look at the curriculum choices that we have made, if you would like, quest if you'd like to ask questions about scheduling, philosophy, whatever it is, let us know in the comments below. We like to hear from our listeners and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for chatting with me today here on For Your Heart with Home. Like and share this video. Please subscribe to help us grow and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you and be well.